Okay, welcome to Five and Below, where we're gonna get everything from my son and daughter's Easter basket. I thought he would love this light. He loves chocolate, Easter bunnies, all of those things. Yeah, so I actually thought I was gonna save money by coming to Five and Below, but mm, I don't think so. Let's stuff the Easter baskets. We're gonna cover them with the white tissue paper, the pink for my daughter. We just went to five and below. Um, this cute basket is gonna match my son's room decor, my daughter in Kanto, these cute pink eggs. Her basket is like pink themed, so I tried to get all the pink candy I could find that I knew she would love. Look at this bubble wand. She's infatuated with bubbles. She's going to love this. And I did purple grass to offset the, the colors. And she's been into painting her nails lately. She's very girly. So we did get a cupcake mask. And she loves bath bombs. Where do you think she gets it from? Her mother. So we go to the beach a lot. Of course, we live in Florida. So what else but a beach pail? This is for my son. It's a cute little card. I tried to get him as much chocolate as I can find. Because like I said, he's an absolute chocolate fanatic. You're going to need scissors. You're gonna need your basket paper, which I got this paper from the Dollar Tree. Um, that's the Mood Light, came from Five and Below. You're gonna need your tape, and that bag was from Dollar Tree because we did go to the Dollar Tree. Some more chocolates and a gaming t-shirt. Literally, this boy is in his room all day long. We wouldn't knew he was even alive if it wasn't for dinner time. Trust me. And he's infatuated with pizza. So I had to get pizza chips to go in his basket. And coins. He loves money. He loves money. So we're going to just, you know, start him off with some chocolate money. So what you just saw me do was I removed the ticketing from the basket. We're going to stuff the basket now. This is so everything can sit up nice and high. It just makes for a very nice presentation. Now you can stuff the basket according to high, high, how high you want your items to sit. Me, I want my basket to stream. Hello! When they see it. So I'm going to stuff this thing pretty high. Okay. Mm, testing it, testing it. Nope. We need it higher. I told you, I want this thing to look like it, it came off the showroom floor. Okay. Yes, we got some coins invested in this basket. So we need to make the presentation everything. So we're just going to add some more stuffing. And I just found some newspaper that was around the house. Um, you can stuff your baskets with whatever because we're going to cover them up with this white paper that I showed you in the beginning of the video. And this is just white tissue paper. You can find this at the Dollar Tree as well. You're just going to cover up all that ugliness at the bottom so it looks nice and seamless and beautiful and it's ready for your green grass now i did green grass with him because he is a boy i want to keep everything um modern and i want to keep it um you know boy themed <laughs> so we're just gonna stuff the grass in here listen there's no wrong way to do this this is easy and i do so many baskets that this is second nature to me i'm trying to like be mindful that i'm doing a video and i'm trying to show you but literally i can get these done in less than 10 minutes so i'm just gonna now this right here you're just gonna position your items um according to however you need them in the basket this is a cute little card which i didn't even realize it was a card when i purchased it so i'm just gonna write my son a handwritten note he's an excellent child excellent student a b on roll ever since kindergarten i mean what more can you ask for he deserves this wonderful basket um, so we just put that in there, gave him some more chocolate. Yeah, he's going to be pretty chocolatey wasted. He's going to be in there talking much trash on that game, yelling all through the house, and I'm going to have to scream at him. Yeah. Welcome to motherhood. Ain't no hood like motherhood. I figured I'd get him this little light right here because he being in the dark half the time. He need to be able to see something besides them game controllers. Y'all parents of gamers know what I'm talking about. So we're just arranging this. We're not doing anything special. You just go with the flow with this. We're going to put that cute little gaming t-shirt right there in the front. We got his little coins on the side. Just go with the flow. There's no right or wrong way when you're arranging your baskets because you have to arrange them according to the things and items that you purchase and that you're going to put in. So once I have everything ready, I'm going to take my handy dandy tape gun. And I'm going to start taping these items down. You make sure you use clear tape, clear tape, because your wrapping is going to be clear and you want everything to blend. You want to be 
to be seamless because once you put this clear tape on you can't see anything and you don't know that it's actually being held up and that it's all taped down and taped together like that so i'm going to take my roll that i got from the dollar tree these are one dollar and 25 cents might i add and i'm just going to put the basket on top and pull the paper up to the top on each side that's all we're doing here then we're going to cap that off at the top with a little tie to hold it in place and then i'm going to show you how i close up the basket and here we are it's time to close up the sides now as you can see in my little top top is twist tied i tied that at the top just to hold it in place then i'm going to take the sides and i'm going to go down each side just closing them together i'm using tape you want to pre-measure your tape before you do this especially if you don't have anyone there with you to hold the bag closed go ahead and put your tape on the side so you can just grab it and tape so what I'm doing here is just taping the sides down just like that. It's just that simple. You're going to take your large piece of tape at the bottom, tape that down right there at the bottom, and your basket is sealed and it is ready. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. You're going to love it. Now I'm going to go back to the top. I'm going to fix my top. I'm going to make it look a little more presentable um, at the top. And here we go. Because I just need it to be held Um for me to do what I need to do. I did ripped the paper and that's what I was going to tell you. The paper at the Dollar Tree, it is so flimsy and it is so like hard to work with. So I did have to tape that, but you see it was a very easy fix because you always want to have your clear tape. It's seamless. No one's going to know, especially when I put my bow at the top. You don't even know that it was a tape piece of tape and that the paper was very thin. Now, usually, and this is what I recommend, go to hobby lobby and get your tape if you do this for a living if you make baskets for a living which when i had my brick and mortar boutique location i did sell baskets out of my store so you don't want flimsy paper on your baskets that you are retailing so go to hobby lobby um for your retail baskets these are for my kids they're gonna rip this open they could care less okay so it's not a big deal over here now what i'm doing here is cutting the ribbon to make it um, pointy and beautiful at the end um, my scissors were dull so my design didn't come out quite like I wanted but I cleaned it up enough and like I said these aren't for sale these are for my kids they're gonna freaking absolutely love them look at this you should have saw my son's face when he came out of the room might I tell you I made them stay in their rooms and shut the door while I made their baskets because I didn't want them to see them until they were a finished product but he was so happy he said mom I really appreciate this because you know we sometimes think the boys don't love these type of things but they really do and I was really happy so now on to basket number two the basket for the princess <laughs> the pink beach pail when I tell you this girl is obsessed with the beach oh my gosh you're gonna do the same thing you did with the last baskets this is really repetitious you stuff it you put that top on there you put your grass in there and you arrange that's your first your first point of action just arrange once you get everything set and in position you see i had to play with it a couple of times this little um pancake fake uh, face mask it just would not be great i could not figure out where to put that thing but that's the joy of it and i did get all of these items to fit in this uh sand bucket and then you tape so this is me just doing the tape process just like i do with my son's basket can you even believe that I got all those things in a sand bucket? Like, you know how big sand buckets are. They're not big at all. And guys, the reason why I make my kids baskets at home, because listen, the store's Easter baskets were just not cute. Simple. They weren't cute at all. <laughs> so I had more fun. And my kids, they were just going crazy when they saw these. We're going to stick those starbursts in there. This is another thing. Um, we're getting ready to close it up. And this is another thing with the Dollar Tree. Everyone's always raving Dollar Tree. And it's great. They had a lot of great things. But this paper, don't do it. Don't do it. Go to Hobby Lobby for your paper. 
Go to Hobby Lobby. Literally one roll does one basket. I ran out of paper. I had to go back to the store again. This is what I grabbed when I went back. Yeah, buying things that I absolutely do not need. A corn holder for our corn nights. Wow. So now we're back. We went back to Dollar Tree. We had to get another roll. And I'm just closing it up just like I did my son's basket. Yeah, one roll for $125 is literally going to do one basket. So especially if you retail baskets, do not waste your time going to the Dollar Tree, getting all those rolls. Go to Hobby Lobby when it's 40% off and get the big roll that comes with like so many feet of paper. And it's a better, sturdier paper. Trust me. These are for my kids, so it's no big deal. And I didn't want to have extra paper around the house, so that's the only reason why I didn't go back into Hobby Lobby on my second round to the uh, store. I found these cute, silly screens in this bright lime green to make her basket pop, to make that pink and purple pop. It's Eastery, you know, the bright Easter colors, you know. The baskets are complete. That's my son's basket. And my daughter's pink basket, which I'm absolutely in love with. I'm actually in love with both of them. They turned out great. Let me know what you think about getting the wrap from the Dollar Tree. Let me know, do you make your own baskets at home in the comments? And happy Easter.